Hello! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.17. Now available across multiple Jamf products, a new app switcher appears in the top left of Jamf Pro 11.17. With OIDC authentication configured in Jamf account, administrators can log in once with their organization's identity provider credentials or Jamf ID, then use the app switcher to navigate between products. Click the App Switcher button in the top left to see a list of purchased and available products. Select a product, then click the button for the page you wish to open, and a new tab opens to that page in the selected product without requiring any additional authentication. With the release of Jamf Pro 11.17, DigiCert Trust Lifecycle Manager can now be configured as a third-party certificate authority. Click the Configure New Certificate Authority button and then select DigiCert Trust Lifecycle Manager. This ensures Jamf Pro remains compatible with DigiCert's evolving infrastructure. For the full instructions on integrating DigiCert 1 Trust Lifecycle Manager with Jamf Pro, check out the Jamf Pro release notes linked in the resources. In Jamf Pro 11.17, inventory reports now support IPv6 addresses. As the successor to IPv4, IPv6 offers greater expanded IP address space and enhanced security. For mobile device inventory records, the IP address attribute appears the same but now shows an IPv4 or IPv6 address depending on what was used last when connecting to Jamf Pro. The same goes for the IP address in computer inventory records, but the reported IP address is now split into two, IPv4 and IPv6. The two new reported IP address attributes can be used as criteria for smart computer groups and advanced searches. They can be included as columns in search results by modifying settings, computer management, inventory display. Just in time for cleanup after the end of the school year, Jamf Pro 11.17 enables administrators to delete all classes with the click of a button. On the Classes page, click the Delete All button in the top right. This process may take some time depending on the number of classes, so logic is built in to prevent classes from being uploaded during the delete all process. With Jamf Pro 11.17, get only the logs you need with automatic disabling of debug mode. When enabling debug mode, choose a time limit from the Disable Debug Mode pop-up menu, and it will automatically be disabled after the specified amount of time. Administrators may notice a new button in the top right of Jamf Pro 11.17 for Jamf's AI Assistant. Currently in beta, the AI Assistant is only available on an opt-in basis via Jamf account. Click Learn More to open the Jamf blog post Introducing Jamf's AI Assistant in a new tab. That's all for our quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.17. Be sure to visit the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com for requirements and details about the features we've covered and to review all of the exciting updates in this version. Thanks for watching.